In this video, we'll be solving the integral of square root x squared minus 6x plus 8. The first thing we're going to do is complete the square. So I'm going to take the negative 6 term and divide it by 2 and then square it. So I'll get 9. I'll add the 9 and then I'll subtract the 9. So now I can group the x squared minus 6x plus 9 together and factoring that gives me x minus 3 quantity squared and then negative 9 plus 8 is just negative 1. Now I'm going to make a u substitution. I'm going to let u equal x minus 3. So du will be dx. My integral now is square root u squared minus 1 du. And at this step I'm going to make a trick substitution. I'm going to let u equal secant theta. So du is secant theta times tangent theta, d theta. I'm going to plug it in. So inside I have secant squared minus 1, which that does simplify. Because we know that tangent squared equals secant squared minus 1. So the square root inside of it will be just tangent squared. And so we'll have the square root of tangent squared, which will just be tangent. And then it'll be tangent times secant times tangent. So there's two factors of tangent that will give us tangent squared. So we'll make another substitution. We'll let tangent squared equal secant squared minus 1. We'll distribute out the secant. So it'll be secant cubed minus secant d theta. And now we'll separate this into two separate integrals. The secant cubed will be a little bit difficult to integrate, but secant theta, we do know what that is. So we know that the integral of secant is just ln secant theta plus tangent theta. Now for secant cubed, I'm going to break it up into secant squared and secant. The way I'm going to integrate that is by using integration by parts. So we'll let u equal secant theta. That means du is secant theta tangent theta d theta. dv is secant squared d theta. So v then is tangent theta. Now secant cubed d theta is just secant theta times tangent theta minus integral secant times tangent squared theta d theta. I'm going to make another substitution. You know tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. And then if I distribute out the secant, so the integral inside the integral will be secant cubed minus secant. And notice I can add the integral secant cubed to the left side, which will give me two copies of the integral. And then the minus neg the yeah minus negative secant will be positive secant. So I know that the integral of secant is just ln secant plus tangent. And what I want from this is just the integral of secant cubed. So I'm going to have to divide both sides by 2. So notice here that I have two copies, ln secant theta plus tangent theta. The first one is being multiplied by 1 half, and the other one is being subtracted. So I can simplify those. But first, I want to make a substitution, right? Or I made the substitution. We had u equals secant theta. So I'm given this right triangle on the right. If u equals secant, if u equals secant theta, then cosine theta is 1 over u. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's why I put 1 in the adjacent, u in the hypotenuse. And then complete the square. The height is the square root of u squared minus 1. So at this point, I'm just going to plug in what I know. Secant theta is u. Tangent theta, well, that's opposite over adjacent. That's just u squared minus 1. And uh, we have ln secant theta plus tangent theta. So secant theta is u. Tangent theta, we said, is square root of u squared minus 1. Add those and add the constant. So notice here I skipped a step. Uh, if you see above the green, so I'll, I said that was negative one half, 
ln secant theta plus tangent theta. So I included it in the bottom there. Okay, in the beginning we said we had u equal x minus three. So everywhere I see u, I'm just gonna replace it with x minus three. And I can actually simplify this because notice inside the square root is x minus three squared minus one, which that does simplify to x squared minus six x plus eight. And so this is my final answer.